Tesla has a bit of technology. It's called autopilot and it allows a car to, in most circumstances, drive itself to a greater degree than in other cars. Although cars will have things like the ability to brake or speed up or stay in a lane, Tesla's autopilot is more all encompassing. And so I think that that leads a lot of people to thinking that they can then simply zone out and watch TV or fall asleep. But over the past month or so, there's been a number of accidents that have made people look again at that technology in a more critical light. In the Tesla Motor Club driver forum, this just happened recently, a user called Arasan posted about a friend getting into a bad crash in Montana and blamed autopilot. The pictures posted on the forum show a very beat up car. Now, the description of the accident goes like this. It was late at night, autopilot did not detect a wood stake on the road, hit more than 20 wood stakes, tire on front passenger side and lights flied away. Uh, they noted that autopilot was enabled at 60 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. His car is completely destroyed. Now, according to uh, Electric, which is a website which deals with the technology of self-driving cars, electric cars, that sort of thing, Tesla's automatic steering feature is only recommended on roads with center dividers, which it does not seem in this case it was. Hmm. Okay. This follows uh, about in May, I believe, there was the first fatal accident uh, during uh, autopilot, which I did a final judgment about. Yeah, I, I'm split on this. I think that uh, people are too freaked out by autopilot. And, and I'm, a, I'm in that group, that's why I'm split on this issue. Uh, I know that I don't want to do it until a lot of people have tested it. Um, but at the same time, like, there's a panic. Like, oh my God, there's two autopilot accidents. In that same time, there's been a million non-autopilot accidents. Yeah. So let's just, but of course, there's a lot less autopilot cars. So let's just keep everything in context and be rational about it. Look, my rational way of handling it is you first. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm, and and a lot of people disagree, and they want to try technology first. Great, fantastic. I like that they're people of all different stripes, and yeah. so I will let you guys try this for about ten years before I jump in. <laughs> ten <laughs> yeah. years, wow. But John will be among the first. Well, I so, would if the cars didn't cost like ninety grand. I know, right? So that's the bigger issue. So I, I'm a little concerned about this, uh, as because that's why I wouldn't do it for the first ten years. And uh, and yes, you're right. Don't uh, just go chasing Pokemon's while you're driving, even if it's on autopilot. Um, <laughs> and and every time somebody says it's the autopilot's fault, I double check because that's a pretty convenient excuse. Mm -hmm. So, but overall, don't panic. Let's keep going. Let's see how this thing goes. Because the minute you start anything new, if there's two or three things that go wrong, people are like, oh, that's it. I knew it. I know it was a disaster. Yeah. We had to stop it immediately. <laughs> Just calm down. Yeah, and look, some people do think that it should be stopped, that that sort of technology, which uh, Elon Musk has called it a beta, even though he doesn't mean beta in the same way that they normally use that term, since it does risk their life and other people's lives, should you even be allowed to test that sort of technology? Of course, they've gone through the regulatory process to get it to the point where it's at. Um, now, asked about the incident, Tesla responded, we're looking into it, thanks. Since we don't know if any of the details posted in that forum post were true or if there even was an accident in the first place. It could be a troll for all we know. But it just came out uh, about an hour before we started this show that the SEC is investigating Tesla for not notifying investors of the crash we've been talking about, the fatal crash, in May when Autopilot was active. The investigation is in the very early stages, according to the Wall Street Journal, and may not lead to any action by the regulator. And they might not have mentioned it because there was a big uh, stockholder meeting that happened in the inter, uh, interim period. Yeah, so the fatal crash is re real and important, and of course they should notify investors. This particular thing, the wooden stakes, it just feels fishy to me. Why were there a ton of wooden stakes in the road? Yeah, it's, it sounds, I, they'll yeah. have to look into it, but I, I smell something slightly yeah. fishy here. Yeah, and it, look, importantly, it's called autopilot. You are not allowed to just... Eh, whatever. I'm just going to be over here if you need me. It says when you opt into it and when you boot it up, the same as with Pokemon Go, when you start up your phone, it says you need to keep your eyes on the road. You need to remain uh, able to take over. And in both of the, in, in this accident and in the fatal one, the autopilot didn't detect the thing that it hit, but the person didn't detect it either. You're not supposed to be watching Harry Potter. And the reason I keep making that reference is because apparently that's what happened during the fatal accident. You're, and it's not casting blame on the victim there. But you, this is new technology, very new. You need to be watching the road. You need to be able to take over uh, if necessary. 
And to what you said, I did some fast mental math. Between this accident, supposedly, and the fatal accident, there's been something like four or 5,000 uh, traffic fatalities in the U.S. These accidents happen all the time. We don't take note of them because there are so many of them. The idea that one or two fatal accidents or 10 or 20 or 100 fatal accidents should stop what is clearly the future of uh, automotive technology. Other companies are working on this. It is going to take over, and it needs to, because humans are notoriously terrible at driving. They're terrible for themselves and for other people. It's going to happen. There's no point in trying to step in front of it. Right, Well, which is what everybody does. Anytime there's change, they try to stop it, yeah. and they always fail. So I'm more cautious than the average bear. That's why if I'm on autopilot, I'd be like, ready to take control of the steering wheel at any time. I wouldn't be like, oh, there's 20 wooden stakes in the road. Not a big deal. <laughs> so, I'm sure it'll weave in the slalom. Don't be Michael Scott. I don't know if you've ever seen that <laughs> edition of the office, yeah. office where they I literally, because the GPS tells them to, they drive into a lake. <laughs> okay, you are all still allowed to use human judgment. If you've got something in front of you, go ahead and swerve.